welcome back. Um, I'm now with Ian in the clubhouse. We've escaped the, was it 30 degrees out there? Yeah, at least, but not complaining. <laughs> not complaining, so it's a it was a little bit uh, hot and sweaty. Uh, so I've dragged Ian back to the members lounge uh, here at the resort. Uh, and I just thought it'd be good for everyone to hear and, and hear about the, the story and the journey that Ian's been on and the one that he's got to look forward to over the, over the coming years. Um, when we're on the range, I said that Ian is our golf ambassador. Uh, indeed, uh, he, he came out in February. Yeah. <laughs> of course, a month later, we had the COVID-19, which uh, disrupted uh, things just a little bit. Uh, we are back in operation now here at Aphrodite Hills. Um, so it's, it's the first opportunity we've had to, to have a chat with Ian and in, introduce you to, um, to him. Um, so I thought we'd just go through a few simple points. Um, obviously, golf ambassador role. Um, I, I guess in really from, from your side, because you, you've traveled the world and played on all these tours, how, how do you see the, the golf ambassador role uh, evolving here at Aphrodite Hills? Well, it, it's nice, first of all, to come to such an amazing complex. All the facilities here are second to none, um, able to play golf, all year round. Like you said, even in February coming, you know, it was still 17, 18 degrees. Yeah. You, you, you're not in minus two back in the UK that <laughs> we all know too well. Um, so I've been able to use these facilities, been able to play, the gym on site. So obviously, like I said, not getting any younger. <laughs> so been able to improve my strength, conditioning, flexibility, the range of motion. Um, also, for injury prevention you know I still want to hit of course I want to hit a lot of golf balls of I'm gonna hit a lot of golf balls so being able to do that it's not at my age I'm not 20 years old I'm not gonna lift a lot of weights but certainly flexibility yeah. is key I think that's something you'd agree with as well I injury prevention is probably the big thing yeah uh, you know I'm, I'm a little bit older than Ian uh, I won't disclose how old but I'm a little mm. bit older than Ian um, yeah, and I've got a few aches and pains. I don't play much golf these days, um, certainly not as much as Ian has been. Um, so you see in your, in your role here as the ambassador, it's, it's, it's been able to use the facilities, use promote the, the facilities. Yes, yeah, use, promote the facilities as well. I've already played quite a lot of golf with the members and visitors, which again, it's something I've done from a very young age. Yeah. Always yeah. support the club where you are, you are help the members, play with the members, socialise, interact with the members, that's very important for them as well. You know, and they can good. support, follow me on this journey, you know, of the seniors tour in, in three years time. And it gives them something to talk about as well, which, which is I, good. I hope it becomes a, a big talking point um, in two, three years time. I, I do, yeah. Um, <laughs> It would not, I mean, I, I honestly, I, I was playing golf. I turned pro in 93, so this is this is when Ian was, was the best amateur in the world and, and qualified for the uh, Masters, wasn't it, of course? Yeah. He played the Masters as, as an amateur. Uh, and I remember the name very well. Uh, how is your tooth? It's all right? Yeah, the tooth is fine now. I'm, People remember my Masters experience. Uh, yes, no tooth I, problems. I felt for you. I remember it too well. Yeah. Uh, I'm, also, I'm, I'm also born quite close to... Um, I was born in a place called Gisborough, which is um, only just up the road from Whitby, where, where Ian and his wife were, were based uh, before coming out here. Uh, so there's a little bit of nostalgia in there for me as well in supporting this and, and making sure that Ian succeeds on his journey. Um, so of course, the role itself, you, you see it as a, as a very multitasking role, but at the end of the day, it's about you, isn't it? It's about you being able to, to yeah. step up or, or play to that level that's required for, mm. for the uh, senior tour or yeah. the champions tour. I it's, think it's tough these days, isn't it? it it's very tough, um, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, it's okay playing your own course, hitting balls on the range, but that competition side yeah. is something that I'll be looking to do, playing a lot of pro-ams, hopefully as well, play with pro-ams with the members, things like that. And that competition, a good friend of mine actually, Paul Broder, who I've spoke to many times, he did this journey that I'm on and he said to me it was three year plan before seniors before okay and competition really really important so that is again playing in Europe certainly Middle East just where these programs are all over the world okay. so you can play in many of them in the mini tours as well right so I, I think it's going to be it's going to be a great journey you know and 
we'll uh, we'll keep everybody updated. We'll keep. Uh, yeah, I, I I can't wait. I, I've never been a, afraid of hard work, so hitting balls on the range, not necessarily too many in 30, 35 degrees, which is no, what no. we're coming to now, <laughs> but there's other things you can do. There's a short game, there's the gym work, you can still play in this weather, and the course, like I said, is fantastic. Brilliant. Absolutely. From everybody here at Aphrodite Hills. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure we'll look after you, I'm sure you'll enjoy the journey, uh, and let's hope for, in a couple of years we have great success uh, with Ian and, and his playing career. But Lovely. Ian, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.